uh, darlings. Yes, I'm Large March. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the lipstick lesbian trapped in the body of the Iowa farm boy. <laughs> but I cannot lie to you, such nice people any longer. My real name is Margolia Katriana Tutalatov. I am fallen female Russian athlete. Yeah. I, defect, I defect to the West at the 1988 Summer Games in Seoul, Korea. I was girlfriend of Vladimir Putin when he was head of KGB. This is the major reason why I come to the West. I'm afraid this man was going to kill me, like the CIA did your Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I knew far too much for my own good. No, I, as I said, I was female Russian athlete. You know, they had me on all the drugs and the steroids. I almost turned into a man so I cannot have babies. And then I was living at the Olympic training camp near Kiev when Chernobyl melted. So between the drugs and the radiation, I grew a small penis. <laughs> I thought Vladimir would totally flip out, but he actually liked it. He is such kinky little man. <laughs> but after I defect, they, they take me around the country on tour to discredit communism to the Western proletariat. And then when we are in New York, I meet Donald Trump. This man is a complete Cossack. He takes me into a little room and he starts to put his hand up my dress. I slap him so hard I knock his toupee off. But he, like, like Vladimir, he was totally turned on by my whole genital situation. He did not leave me alone. So, you know, shortly after I come to U.S., I settle in U.S., I started working for a modeling agency. I am much skinnier back then. And Melania, yes, that Melania, the later married to Donald, she came to work at the agency. I am the one who introduced those two, mainly to get the Donald off my back. And I wish I had not done this because she called me all the time. She's complaining about Donald. He is such a drag being the first lady. He is so freaking lousy and bad. I said, Melania, he didn't have INS take away our passport. You're a big girl. Go to the airport, buy a ticket back to the old country. And she says to me, what, and leave show business? <laughs> oh. No, I, you know, but I love America. You know, it's, it's such a great place. And, you, you have these Target stores. There's more shit in one Target store than there was in all the shops in Moscow in 1984. <laughs> but the strange thing is you drive 30 miles to the next town. There is other Target store. You walk in, same propaganda on the walls, same shelves, same merchandise, same prices, same people at the checkout counters. <laughs> it is like bad Twilight Zone. <laughs> that, is, that is another thing I, I like about America. It's, it's these wonderful television programs, the Rocky and the Bullwinkle. <laughs> that is why I come to Minnesota. These two, these two lovable Cossacks being chased around by the two KGB agents, Boris and Natasha. Natasha Patel, I'm telling you, she's the reason I became a lesbian. <laughs> oh, Boris, darling, we must find the moose and the squirrel oh, to die for. But, you know, I, I do, I get lonesome for the old country. I go back to visit every once in a while. After my last visit, I am back. I am on the streets of St. Paul. I'm being followed by two KGB agents. Now, I know this because they're wearing polyester leisure suits with lapels <laughs> up to here. <laughs> and they're driving a 19, swear to God, they're driving a 1988 Russian built Volga sedan with manifold devices. <laughs> this stupid shit in the passenger seat. He's got like a 15 pound two way radio he's holding up to his ears. 
and they pull up beside me, hey, sugar plum, hey, baby, you don't want to date? Go away, you holy guns. And I want to go away, so I walk up to the car to confront them, and you know, the police guy pulls up behind them. The officer gets out, he's accusing me of soliciting prostitution. Are you kidding me? Why do this car sex? They have no money. Look at this piece of shit car they drive. I want you to arrest them for harassing me. Well, why were you talking to them? Because they would not take go to hell for answer. So I was giving them directions to the north side of Minneapolis. <laughs> oh, oh, what a terrible life. But I, I am so glad to be here in the USA. And, you know, I just, I want, I want to leave you with this one thought. Keep shooting for the stars, and you too can be a celebrity murderer.